Hey, we are on slide 27. So let's look at the, up at the top and we are going to do some text boxes here. So the steps for solving multi-step equations is the same as solving um, inequalities. So use the blank to remove any grouping symbols. Grouping symbols is like parentheses. How do we get rid of parentheses? What property do we use? Distributive, yes. So use the distributive property. So make a text box. Make it just a little bigger. And I'm going to make it where it has blue in the background. Use the distributive property to remove any grouping symbols. Okay, the next one, we have three blanks on each side of the inequality. Blank, blank, blank on each side of the inequality. After you distribute, what do you do next? I remember combine like terms. Okay, the next one, move the variables to, when we do inequalities, we really want all the variables on the left side of the inequality symbol. So move the variables to the left side of the inequality symbol. And then use inverse operations to solve. So don't forget to switch the inequality symbol when multiplying and dividing by a negative. So let's highlight that. The way you can highlight that is draw a text box over the top of the don't forget. And we are going to change the fill color Let's do a yellow, but then I can't see anything underneath. So I need to change the transparency. So I need to go back to fill color and I'm going to custom. So hit this plus right here and I'm going to change transparency, drag this to a little past the middle. Um, let's see. I don't really like that one. Let's see. That's a little better. Don't forget to switch the inequality symbol when multiplying or dividing by a negative. So you always want the inequality symbol on the left side. That's the other stipulation. If at the end you have to switch the X and the number, you also switch the symbol. Okay, so let's work these out in our journal. So we already have a page set up. So let's go ahead and write down number one. I'll show you mine after I write down the problem. Okay, so we follow the rules, which is distribute and then combine like terms. Um, I'm going to draw an 
uh, line down the inequality sign, just like I did whenever I solved equations, you need to combine like terms. So on the left side, we have 8x and we have a minus 6x. So whenever I combine those, I get 2x minus 5 is greater than 9. Okay, and then I need to move the minus 5 to the other side. So plus 5. 2x is greater than 14. Divide by 2. X is greater than 7. Okay, so after we do that, we need to uh, also graph it. So I'm going to do the number line underneath. And I want 7 about in the middle, so I'm going to put 7. And then let's skip a couple. 7, 8, 9, 10. Then go down 7, 6, 5, 4. I just kind of skipped a couple of numbers, just so you know that going up is increasing, going down is decreasing. You can do your number line however you choose, though. Okay, so now we need to graph it. So let's write down how we're going to graph it, the description of it. This would be x is greater than 7. So if you need to refer back to slide 25, you can. Is it going to be open or closed? Open. open. Okay, so open circle on 7. And then which direction is it going? Right. Right. And let's also write the interval notation. The only time you do the bracket is if it's a closed circle. So this is an open circle, and we always do the interval starting with the smallest number it could be, which is 7. So parentheses 7, comma, and it's going on and on forever to infinity. So infinity, parentheses. So that's your interval notation. Okay, let's look at number two. Six parentheses x plus two, close parentheses, plus one, it's less than or equal to negative 17. Just wanna make sure I have it right. Draw your line down your inequality symbol. So step one, distribute. So we're gonna distribute the six to everything inside. So we get six X plus six times two is 12, plus one less than or equal to negative 17. Then combine like terms, the 12 plus the 1. So 6x plus 12, 13. It's less than or equal to negative 17. Subtract 13 to both sides, or on both sides. 6x less than or equal to negative 17, negative 13, 30. Divide by positive 6 on both sides. If we divide by a positive, that does not change our symbol. Only if we divided by a negative 6 would that symbol change. So x is less than or equal to negative 5. <coughs> Okay. 
So let's put negative five right in the middle. If we go to the right, we're going up. So negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, and this would be zero. And if we go down, negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine, negative 10. So let's graph it. Let's write the description. How is it going to be graphed? Closed. And which direction is this going? Left. So closed and left. Then the last thing is interval notation. What is the smallest number that X could be? This arrow means it goes on and on forever. So what would we put? Yeah, negative infinity to the biggest number it can be. Negative five. And then do I put a bracket or parentheses for negative five? Bracket. I'll get the hang of it. Uh uh, uh huh. <laughs> okay, the next one 4x plus 8 minus 9x plus 2 is less than negative 5. Okay, so let's combine like terms. There's no distribution. So we're going to combine like terms. 4 minus 9x. What is that? Yeah, negative 5x. And then positive 8 and a positive 2. So X is already on the left side, so I just need to move this plus 10 to the other side by subtracting 10. Negative 5 and negative 10. Negative 15. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to have to get rid of this. Multiply by negative 5 by dividing by negative 5. What do we, what's special about this? Yeah, we got to flip the sign. That's that special rule. So X, instead of being less than, it's now going to be greater than. Negative 15 divided by negative 5. Yep. So we flipped that sign and we flipped it because we divided by a negative. So three, four, five, six, seven, one, zero. I guess I could go ahead and put all the numbers if I went ahead and did that. Okay, so let's see, how are we going to graph this? What is it? Open and right. Good. Open. Right. And then the interval notation, what's the smallest number it can be? 
three. And what's the biggest number it can be? Infinity. And parentheses on both. Both. Okay, let's go on to number four. Y'all ready? So this was variable on one side. These problems are going to have a variable on both sides. 13x minus 8 is greater than or equal to 4x minus 26. Okay, so what do I need to do first? X is on the same side, so I need to get every X to the left side. So minus 4X. 9X minus 8 greater than or equal to negative 26. Add eight to both sides. Negative twenty six plus eight. Negative eighteen. Then divide by nine. Negative eighteen divided by nine. Negative two. Yeah. Okay, let's write down the description of how we're going to graph it. Greater than or equal to. How am I going to graph it? Close in which direction if it's greater? Right. So close and right. Then the last thing is interval notation. So you always go left to right. So what's our smallest number it can be? Okay, and what goes with negative two? Parentheses or bracket? Bracket, because it's or equal to. And then it goes all the way out forever. Infinity. Okay, let's look at three. Negative five X. Is that bright? Hard to see. Yeah, it kind of is hard to see. Negative five X is uh oh minus 11 that's hard to see too on the screen i have a million colors on this one it's less than negative eight parentheses x minus two okay so negative five x minus 11 can't be simplified but the other side, we're going to distribute. One five. Mm. Thanks. That should be five. Negative eight X plus negative eight times a negative two. Positive 16. And you get all the x's to the left side, so that means I need to take this negative 8 and take it over here. Negative 5 plus 8. 
3x minus 11 is less than 16. Plus 11. 3x is less than 27. Divide by 3. X is less than 27 divided by 3. Um, Okay, the description of how we're going to graph it. Open, and then which direction? Yeah. Left. So open on nine, and then pointing left. So then it would be, what's the least amount it could be? Yeah, negative infinity. What's the most it could be? Nine and parentheses. Okay, last one on this page. Okay. Oh, that should be an X there. Sorry, I forgot my X. 6X should be over here. I left it off in the beginning. Okay, the left side, we can't do anything with that. The right side, we can distribute the 3. 3X, three, 3 times X, 3 times a negative 1, minus 3, plus 6X. Combine like terms, 7x plus 9 is greater than 3x plus 6x, 9x, subtract the min, or put minus 3 on there. Remember, I need to get all the x's to the left side, so I need to subtract 9x from both sides. Seven x minus nine x. Mm -hmm. Negative two x and then plus nine. Negative three on that side. Okay, what's next? Mm -hmm. Negative two x is greater than negative twelve. Okay, last step. What do we do whenever we divide by a negative? X is less than negative 2 divided by, I mean, negative 12 divided by a negative 2. Positive 6. So it's now less than. your number line. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, open or closed? In which way? Left. So open, going left. So the least amount it could be negative infinity. The most it can be is a six. Parentheses are in it. All right, that is it for your notes. Take a picture of this and put it in on your uh, digital journal.